Oh, hi, welcome back. This is episode two of Score Plays Resident Evil 3. Okay, that's blocked off. I'm not picking up the herbs just yet. I should pick up one, however. Should always have at least one kind of healing item on you at all times, because you never know. Okay, so we're going through Hyon. Okay, so no bullets there. I'm gonna try not to worry about those. No. So, as I said, this is... The timeline is weird in this, so it's... Yeah, whatever. September 24th. There were reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the twelve gems that are installed in the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at the time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Borloch. Uh, based on an autopsy report, a 42-year-old restaurant owner... I have discovered that he is one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case at this time. We'll keep the gem as evidence. So, need to collect some gems, because those act as keys for the clock tower. Not the clock tower. Uh, there is a clock tower in this game, but it's a... It's for, like, City Hall. There's the gem. And because we use the PC, we know what the password is. I cannot take the key at this time, though. But because we got that key, I mean that card key, we were able to access the PC to get the password. Throw my bullets. There's another zombie right there. So that has gunpowder we need. We need the gunpowder. But we can put this gem away. We can put these away. We can put the knife away. We can put the stars card away. Do some grabby grabby, swappy swappy. Yes. David's memo. 
My sanity's at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday, Meyer. Uh, one of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once when he saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. Uh, again, I apologize. I have dyslexia, so it's hard for me to read aloud. I can read by myself perfectly, you know, in my head, but once I try to read aloud, it makes it a little hard. So, bear with me sometimes. I will be stumbling when I read. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I still can hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind, the sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid. Terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We've lost 13 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we will bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. I think he shot himself. Okay, we will be taking these. Because I have no means to save at the moment. Uh, this I didn't show this area when I played Resident Evil 2, but this is where you develop film. You can't do anything here. Because there is no film to develop. I'm going to do a double back real quick to pick up that key and those herbs that I skipped. Because I am going to need them. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because there's going to be... I was about to say, where's the key? Because <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, fight the nemesis a bunch more. And I want to be able to, you know, have access to all these herbs I'm picking up and finding. Because they are important. Um, I should... Uh, I hesitated. I hesitated. Oh, man. That's what happens when you hesitate. When you hesitate, you get the the nibblins bitten out of you. And we gotta keep our nibblins. Right? Our very important nibblins. Cause we need our nibblins. I'm gonna take care of that because I don't want to be in a, a position where I can find myself to be have my booty bitten. It's just sometimes best to avoid the zombies when you can. I'm not going to go directly upstairs yet. I'm going to check out one of the other areas. I believe... I put the knife away. I wish I had the knife with me. I could have saved me some bullets. And I probably wasted those bullets anyway because I believe this is where I go to get the other key card. More ink ribbons, okay, thank you.
Yep, that's the other star's card. Uh, some other ammunition? Thank you. Good. Okay, so what was at least worth it for the shotgun bullets? Or the shells? They are shells, not bullets. It was worth it for the shells, because the shells are more powerful than handgun bullets. Yeah. We need all the shells we can get. Anything up this way? Uh, this is barricaded, I think. Yep, that's barricaded. But I was going to see if there was like an herb or something on the ground. Because they are needed, because they are helpful. <clears throat> okay, going to quickly do some switcheroonies. Put away this one shell. Going to save. Go into the star's office. Unlike the second game, we're not in the police station that long. There's more Zambos. No likey the Zambos. Oh, I got a fat zombie. It's a husky zombie. He wants all the nibblings. Can't have them, though. They're my nibblings. Oh, where's the statues? Okay, no bullets. I think it would have been cool if they left the bullets there. It would have been like, well, what if Claire or Leon forgot to grab them? That's also brought it off. Okay, got two red herbs here. I'm gonna leave one right there. I'll come back for it if need be. Because I need space. I need the space. Okay, and in here we got the granada launcher, which we will take, because yes. We will take the lockpick. Dang, it's not a permanent item. Oh, that's rough. And there's all the stars members. I'm needing bullets. Yes, we will take those. Thank you. Okay, Barry's got a replica gun on his desk. And as I said in my playthrough of Resident Evil 2, there is... There is that thing there. 
So thank golly goodness for that. Okay, so we got... Good there. from Kendo Gun Shop. To the boys of stars, I have some good news for you. This is from my brother Joe. Wow. He has finalized the new handgun for the official use. It is it is the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns. Joe says, if you miss targets with this, you should carry a teething ring in your gun instead of... Wow. As I said, dyslexia. You should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. The goods will be delivered along with their proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used for the M92F. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo, Kendo Gun Shop. Now, it's hard to know whether or not the well at least from like my knowledge i bet there are people who do know that the owner of the gun store or the guy that was in the gun store when in resident evil 2 when he was attacked by zombies if it was robert or his brother i'd like to think that the guy that sent the fax was that guy just because it's a you know it's a direct tie to uh, resident evil 2. oh huh. Oh, and the music gets all foreboding. Wonder what that could be. And he has a rocket launcher. Oh. Yeah, you missed Bucker. Oh, you punched me in the back of the head. I'm not gonna give up on this fight, though. Oh, oh come on! No, no, no! Okay, as I said, you can insta die. It was that taking the rocket twice like that that got me. Shoot. Okay, so what I will do is next episode we'll do a jump cut to where I was before I died like an idiot. Take care now.